Let's build and design your upsell page using a free forever software and a proven conversion framework we consistently use to increase our sales 30, 60, even 180%. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur, marketing geek, timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our sales funnel template pack that has our top converting funnel pages, email campaign, and a course framework that allows you to go from idea to sales in just a few days. And to do this all for free, we'll be using Systemi.io, which is a free funnel builder that allows you to create your landing pages, sales pages, and of course your order bumps and upsells, even send automated emails and have a course and community site with their free plan. No silly 14 or 30 day trials. Now let's go through the conversion anatomy of your upsell page. And a good way to think of this is just a really long ad. And when it comes to the framework we like to use, I like to use ADA. It stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Yes, I use this framework pretty much throughout every page in our funnel. If it converts, just keep using it, right? And so at the very top, we're going to grab attention number one with our transaction bridge, more on that in a moment. And then number two, of course, a headline that is really clear and upfront, we're selling is something else, right? Then we go into interest where we either have a picture of the upsell or we have a three minute uh, pine formula VSL. We'll go through that as well. And then of course we need some bullet points to explain whatever it is the upsell offer is. Just a couple of features and quick roadblock breakers and results that they can get. Then if we have testimonials two max, super short and sweet, like testimonials you would have on your your, your checkout page or checkout section, very short, like one or two lines. And then of course we have the action and that's going to be where we have a image of the picture. We have a big price drop and we show them the massive discount they're getting because they're buying right now. And it's kind of like a special offer and thank you for being a customer and making their first purchase. And of course this section also has the non-action button, which is no, thank you. I want to skip. All right, so let's get started actually building out our upsell page. So jumping over to Systemi here, I'm in our demo funnel that you can grab in the description. And on the free plan, you can only have one active upsell. So the way the upsells work is you can go and click on add step, come over here under sales, and you'll see there's upsells and downsells. And so we'll go ahead and click on upsell. We'll leave downsells as when you have one that is less. So if someone says no to an upsell, then it would, Systemi would send them over to a downsell, but that's advancing for another day. You'd go ahead and click on upsell and then give it a name. But because we already have a page all set, all I need to do is click the upsell and drag it right after the sales letter and Systemi will take care of the rest in the background. Now, if you upgrade in the future and you have multiple upsells, you just have to have them in the order that you want. And of course you need to end it with a confirmation page. So here I'll go ahead and click on our upsell page and I'll jump into edit it. Now, just like with any page in your funnel, the first step to editing the page, here's the uh, template that we'll be going through is coming over to settings, fixing up your typography, uploading your custom fonts, if you have any, so that every page in your funnel looks congruent. Of course, changing out the colors as well. Jump down here, skip SEO, don't need that at all. Jump down here to put in your tracking codes. I'm always gonna say that, remember to put in your tracking codes. And then if you're on the paid plan, you of course can go ahead and remove the commissions uh, banner or tab or button, uh, whatever we gonna call it here. <laughs> Um, because we want people to focus on our upsell offer, not get distracted by signing up for Systemi. Although it is nice to collect affiliate commissions, we'll just do it at a later time, if it makes sense to promote it. That's the other thing too. There are a lot of niches where it doesn't make sense to promote funnel software, right? <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and jump over here. So at the top, of course, you'd want to go ahead and change this and drop in your logo, same editing across all your other funnel pages, right? Now up top here, what we did is we created this little transaction bridge section. So it's really clear, or I think it's clear that the order is still in progress. Now, if you decide to make your own templates, whatever your sales page or checkout page looks like, you want to use a very similar design on this page. So it looks like a natural progression and congruency. And so whatever you decide to put up here, I'm just gonna leave it alone and I'll go ahead and jump down to my headline. So to save us some time, 
I'm gonna pull a template of copywriting from one of our paid offers, and I'll go ahead and highlight. I'll hit Command-Shift-V on a Mac, Control-Shift-V on Windows, so I keep the formatting and the formatting and font that I want in Systemi. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the spaces here. And of course, if I don't like how this looks, I don't right now, I'll go ahead and click on the element and I will play with margin. So right now it looks like I don't have any margin at all, which means I don't have a lot to work with, but maybe if I change it to 50, it won't work, but 75 did. And so now I have this nice reverse uh, pyramid looking uh, headline. Now, of course, we do wanna check it on mobile and make sure it doesn't look too funny. So of course on mobile, I'd probably go ahead and remove the margins. Actually, they're already removed, so we're good. So. Uh, that's pretty much all we need to do for our headline grabbing attention um, because the template already has this set up for us. So then the next section here, we need to, of course, drop in whatever our image is going to be for our product. We just click there, upload our image, or if we have a VSL that's a maximum of five minutes, then we can go ahead and click video, drag that in and we can upload it directly to Systemi. And that's what I recommend doing, unless for some reason you're already paying for Wistia or Vimeo, sometimes those load a little faster than Systemi's uh, videos. But for the most part, you just upload it directly to Systemi and call it good, even on the free plan. And when it comes to the video settings, please leave autoplay off. I actually recommend not having autoplay on and just have your thumbnail say click to play. And so uh, that's what we do with all of our all of our sales videos because there's so many browsers these days that block the audio. And so the video will start playing, they'll you know miss the first 10 or 15 seconds and then nothing makes sense. Um, so just go ahead and leave the uh, autoplay off. And so just to, to have people click. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Then I have another round of copying and pasting from our template. So we'll go ahead and speed through this. And just like that, I've got some super basic bullet points in there and a little introduction. And of course, then we have our money back guarantee. I'll just go ahead and say 90 days. We want this to match whatever the guarantee is on your sales page. Otherwise it will confuse people. And I don't remember the offer name we had here. I think it was Facebook, yeah, Facebook Ads Library. And again, the template I'm just copying from for time purposes, uh, it's part of one of our paid courses. So uh, then at the bottom here, this is where things get unique for our upsell page. Because at this point, um, you've probably done all this stuff already, right? <laughs> so for here, we want to make it really clear that this is a crazy, cool, awesome discount. So for our example, it goes from $45 all the way down to $9.97. So I can remember $45 and $9.97, but I'm definitely not gonna remember, whoops. <laughs> but I'm definitely not gonna remember the percentage. So I'll drop that percentage in, and then the final price is 9.97. There we go. Now, I'm also gonna recommend putting it down here as well. Uh, I always like to cover my bases on these pages just in case I come back and change something in the future and I forget that that was the only place I actually had the price. And we'll say save, oops, save 35 off the original price, right? So they're saving 35 bucks, which is like 77%. Um, and that does it for all of our text. Now, when it comes to how Systemi works uniquely with this page, these two are actually both buttons. So when we come over to elements here and we don't need forms or check boxes, but what we do need is accept offer button and decline offer button. So I'll go ahead and add them so you can see what it looks like. But first I'm going to use two columns. So I'll go ahead and drag two columns right there. And then I'll drag the accept and I will drag the decline. Um, and so this way, if someone clicks this, Systemi knows, hey, they want to buy this product, we're gonna give it to them and we're gonna charge their card. If someone clicks this button, then Systemi knows they don't want it, they're not gonna charge the card. And if you're doing a downsell, then they'll be sent over to the downsell. And so th that is what these two buttons are. Personally, I saw some upsells, I would give credit if I could remember whose upsell it was, where instead of having 
a green button and a gray button, like uh, a lot of upsell pages do, they actually just put it as a link at the, at the bottom. And I really like that format. So I actually just reformatted the decline offer as a, to look like a link. So say, no thanks, I'm good on my own, or yes, upgrade my order today. Now check in my notes, I forgot two things. Number one, the price offer here, you can actually drag that in, but I think it looks really ugly. So I don't, I don't want this on this page. So I would rather, okay, just go ahead and have the actual total here. And somehow I accidentally undid what I typed. Um, and so just, typing in the typing in the total there. And then the other thing is if you wanted to have testimonials on this page, then this would be the place to do it right here, right before the money back guarantee. So I'd go ahead and drag in a row right after the bullet points. And then I'd come over to blocks because why design it from scratch when they already have it done for you. And I'd go ahead and choose one of the testimonials. So I like the one at the bottom, so I just go ahead and click and drag that in. Oh, actually it's a section. <laughs> so I'd go ahead and, and drop the section in, and then I would drag the row up to where I want it. Come on, Systemi, there we go. We're almost there. If you're like, really? Does everybody else have this problem? Yes. Every page builder I play with seems to have this issue. Like, come on, just one more. All right, you know what? That's close enough, there we go because then I can just take this row and drop you down. And then I'll delete the row that I made. Boom, there we go. So now we have our testimonials and we can update them. I'll probably just take off this silly thing. We don't need that. And of course we'd want to fix the spacing, You know, change the row so that um, it doesn't have this little white bar here and all that fun stuff. So that does it for all of the design elements of our upsell page. And so now what we need to do is actually set up this pricing. And of course you would want to connect it to a product. And so after deleting the demo elements, we don't actually need, I'll go ahead and scroll up here, click on save changes, cause it does not auto save. And then we'll go ahead and exit and set up our price. So we are on the upsell page. All we need to do is come down to price plans, click the plus button. And just like you did with your sales page, you can go ahead and choose the type of payment you want. So in this particular instance, I could take the, <laughs> the exact same payment uh, as I did for my sales page, or I could go ahead and create a new one, which is probably a better idea. And of course I'd go ahead and give it a descriptor and name. And so here's a quick example of how I would fill this out. On the display, I would say 77% discount. It just helps reinforce the fact that this is a discount. And then for my internal name, I'm just gonna say what price it is. So I know what the end price is and I never have to do um, math on the fly and make my uh, self be embarrassed. Then for the descriptor, of course, this is what shows up on someone's credit card statement. So we're going to be very boring and plain. And of course, this is going to be a one-time payment of 997. And I could go ahead and click on save and then I would be good to go here. So. Now we have our pricing plan there. And so when someone clicks that link on our upsell page to add this to their order, they'll be charged $9.97 in addition to their initial purchase. And so that's all there is to it, to designing and building upsell pages to pretty much instantaneously add an extra 30, 40, 60, in one case for us, over 180% revenue growth with the same traffic you have now and the same offer you have now, just adding some order bumps and upsells. This really is that simple and powerful. So link in the description to grab a copy of our sales funnel template pack that has this upsell template as well as our entire funnel pages and an email campaign along with a course framework to help you get up and running in just a few days. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides and tutorials just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.